Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, before I get started, uh, if you're watching solely for the purpose of um, my contributions to the Sword Art Online project, um, feel free to close out of the video because this is uh, not related <clears throat> to the project. Um, I actually uh, entered a programming competition for school, and uh, the district competition is coming up soon, and the due date for it was yesterday, so I finished it. If I win, I get to add some more stuff to it before it goes to state, but um, I figured I'd uh, showcase it a little bit. So, um, here it is if you run it. It's supposed to be a basic database program. Um, this is what it looks like, the UI. And it manages all these databases that it creates. Um, so if we, uh, if we hit view records, this is the database viewer. It'll load it. It'll load it from a CSV format. So, uh, in the actual file, that's what it looks like. But it'll format into this table here. Same for, uh, all of these. Alright, you notice this one and this one is empty. That's because we, um, well, I'll show you guys. So, the way it works is it's supposed to be a mock program for registering users and attenders for the National Fall Leadership Conference, which is uh, this uh, meeting basically for, for uh, a club that I'm in. So, let's say that I enter this information. We're going to go to. Uh, one in DC and New Orleans, why not? And we'll be a member. And then depending on which conferences you choose, it'll determine which workshops are loaded. So obviously there's different ones for each one, and since I chose two, there's I think there's sixteen in here. So let's let's register for these guys. I hit continue. It'll ask me if I want to uh, register or confirm. Confirmation. And then it resets. So here's a console. It'll tell us whenever um a database is edited or updated, so created or updated. Um, you can clear the console if we want to. There's a help button here. Oh yeah, and uh, for all these pop-ups, there's only one instance allowed, just so we don't, you know, flood the screen. Uh, about this is a a form where it just views all the actual source code I, that, that I put into this. So uh, quite a lot actually. I mean, <laughs> the main form it's. Well over a thousand lines, I think. Um, and then now the record viewer. You can see that our, our newly entered um, participant is in here, as well as the workshop with the uh, new ID, and then the participant ID. So zero correlates to this ID right here. Okay. Um, I plan on in the future, if I win, I'm going to add in some filtering tabs, but for now, that's all I got. And uh, you can also change values, so let's say I want to change to, uh, I don't know, that chapter. I can then hit save changes, and if I reload it, it automatically reloads, but just for the sake of showing you guys, if I reload it, we have our new chapter number. So yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple, but uh, I spent a lot of time, but by a lot of time, I mean like, a week and a half. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.